Hey everybody, it's Melissa, and today I'm going to share with you guys my haul from the Society of St. Vincent de Paul thrift store that we went to in LA. And the thrift store was huge. Um, if you do go, you definitely need to grab a cart on your way in because there is so much stuff to go through. Stephanie and I were there for about two hours going through everything. And they have so much stuff, not only clothing, they have furniture, housewares, but I will say this, their handbag and jewelry selection were not that great. But I did find some really cool stuff, so I'm going to share it with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy! So the first thing I found was probably the thing I'm most excited for, and it's this, I would say, floral printed blazer from Zara. So I was so excited that I found this there, and it's in great condition, and it's a size 4, which is a little bit big, but I just had to pick it up. It was only $4.99, and that is such a good deal for blazers, because at our thrift stores here, they charge like $5.99 to $7.99, so when I saw this, I just thought the colors were perfect for spring, so I just had to pick it up. Spring is all about colors, so I decided to mix these turquoise jeans with my Zara blazer. As strange as these shoes may be, I think they add a nice quirky touch to my outfit. So the second item that I found was the most expensive, and it's this kind of pink colored button down. I love the pockets, number one. It was originally $7.99, but they had marked it down to $5. I'm not really sure why it was so expensive, but they had multiples of this shirt there, so maybe it was like a new item or something they had, but I just had to get it because I love the color and I'm not sure if I can pull this off with my skin tone but um, I thought it would be great for the spring and for the summer, definitely color blocking and I just love button down so I just could not pass this up. <laughs> I paired my pink button down with navy shorts to balance out the brightness of the top. Multicolored bracelets and rings are definitely one of my spring favorites. These floral flats add an unexpected twist to my otherwise simple outfit. So the third item that I found, Stephanie was not a fan of and she tried to convince me not to get it, but I had to. I was sold with this bow. Stephanie thinks it's way too over the top, but for me, it's never too over the top. And this was $2.99, but since it had a white color tag, it was like 25% off. So FYI, they do have multiple sales on different colored tags, and if you buy multiples of a different color tag, it's like only $5. So it's already cheap, and then they have discounts on top of it. It's definitely worth going there. So I just had to pick this up. It fits really well, and I just love the bow. Since the bow is pretty overwhelming, I decided to stick with basic silhouettes, but add different shades of pastels. These flats have an awesome covered wedge, which gives me a tiny bit of height. So the next item that I found, it's kind of funny because I was actually going to buy this same exact shirt at our local Goodwill, but it was $8.99 because they consider it better quality. I mean, it is Talbot's, but still, I was not going to pay $8.99 for it. And then I saw it there for $2.99, so I went ahead and picked it up, and I just love this kind of turquoisey, like really, really, really light turquoise color. I don't know what color that is. And the floral print. I just think it's such a pretty print for spring. Since this sweater is a tad boxy, I decided to use a skinny belt to accentuate my waist. up is this Guess denim button down. Actually, it's Guess by Marciano Petite. 
I'm petite, so I just had to pick it up. It was only $2.99, and it is a little bit big, but I thought it was definitely worth it because I can do a DIY or diet or do something to it for $2.99, so I just had to pick it up because it is such a steal for only $2.99. So that was my haul. I picked up five items for around $18 and some change. It was a pretty good deal. Um, if you guys live in LA or around that area or are planning to visit, I would definitely suggest going to that thrift store. I will leave the location in the down bar below. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!